ever write or draw things yourself? Do I personally? Yes, any second I get. Every bathroom should have a Sharpie next to it so everybody can express with themselves what they're doing at that point of the time. Less so of people enjoy writing it, more so people enjoy reading it. This is actually considered by folklorists and others who have studied it. It is considered a genre, a particular genre of communication. And it is defined by the fact that it is public, and yet it's also private. If it's latrinalia, it's done privately, uh, and yet it's intended for a public audience. And it is generally artistic, or certainly that is the kind of standard anyway, that, you know, if it's clever, even if it's, if it's a repeat, somebody likes some poetry, but maybe it was very risque poetry, or maybe it wasn't, but somebody liked it, so they repeat it. So it's not always original, but it's something that someone feels strongly about and wants to leave for someone else to read. It's very interesting and uh, I've, I've uh, made a, a study of graffiti over the years. I've paid a lot of attention to it and uh, my favorite, well, I, there are two things I really like about graffiti. I like the uh, political or the, the type of graffiti that has a kind of an ideology uh, to it, but the other one are the conversations and the conversations are quite wonderful. Um, in, in a way, uh, what you're doing in that, in that situation is you're, you're kind of pushing a little bit beyond the envelope in the graffiti situation. Uh, it's meant to be anonymous, it's meant to be impersonal. You're establishing a certain uh, level of, of uh, personalization in that medium, and yet you're uh, indulging in a conversation where you're not coming into direct contact with your interlocutors. Write on the walls yourself? No. Why not? Yes, I'm focused on other things while in the bathroom. I guess sometimes I'll, I'll tag something and say something about Ron Paul, but that's about it. I don't know if that's really helping the cause, but... You don't bring pencils and stuff to the bathroom? I've always wondered who exactly does bathroom graffiti, but uh, I never have. Maybe I should start thought-provoke somebody else. Probably what I like best when I see those is the uh, level of creativity and ingenuity that comes out where one person will take uh, something that the person before them has done and they'll work with it, um, they'll transform it, they'll continue it um, in, in, in ways that are often quite wonderful. It's a toilet paper dispensary. It said Mexican fatal photo booth. Please pull to develop. <laughs> Wipe and develop. That was by far the funniest shit I've ever seen in my life. Overall, I think it's kind of inspiring. I've seen some girls with like issues about like they talk about their body images and issues with that. And it's kind of interesting how like every at least in the girls' bathroom, like you can see like how it transforms and people are like helping each other out. It's it's kind of cool. I don't know. I like it. There's always a lot of, you're beautiful, written on the stalls. Um, it's kind of nice to read in the middle of the day. I don't know. It seems like there, there, there are two kinds of people in the world. Uh, they're the kind of people who welcome graffiti and see it as a kind of a, um, 
a nice sort of relief to the, uh, you know, the, the dreary, uh, you know, predictability of, of things. And then there's another kind of person who really doesn't like to see order uh, uh, disturbed. And uh, those two kinds of people just have different ways of looking at things. But for, for whatever reasons, uh, people will, you, you will find oftentimes controversial uh, comments, whether it has to do with sex, ethnicity, gender, um, the size of somebody's penis, or what kind of a fuck somebody is, and so on. Uh, this kind of thing, I think it used to be more rare, but today, you know, depending on what restrooms you're in, uh, you will find much, much more explicit uh, uh, sexual references or, uh, you know, racism or, or stereotypes, but I think you're more likely to find it in men's rooms than women's rooms. I think that um, there will always be graffiti artists in the world. I think there will always be people trying to stamp out graffiti. And uh, I have to say, I find the, uh, the uh, contest to be somewhat entertaining. <laughs>